So heading into the draft yesterday, I was very excited about the number 17 pick the Red Sox had. I had all these possibilities in my head of who they could have picked. They could have picked Mick Abel, Nick Bitsko, Peter Crow Armstrong, maybe a Garrett Mitchell. There were a lot of possibilities for the Red Sox. And in the end, they took a guy named Nick York. Pretty much when everyone saw this pick, everyone's reaction was, who? And even myself, when I first saw the pick, I was very surprised at it, and I didn't know what to think of it at first. To be honest, I was pretty underwhelmed with the pick. So after the draft last night, I wanted to let it simmer, I wanted to think about it. So I had a bowl of ice cream, and then I went to bed, I snuggled with my pillow all night, and I woke up thinking this morning, you know what? I like this pick. And funny enough, in my video that I posted yesterday of my top sleeper picks in this draft, I actually had Nick York on that list at one point. However, I decided to take him off that list because I just saw a couple other pitchers that I wanted to add to the list instead. And shame on me because Nick York could end up being a really good pick. So I'm here to tell you fellow Red Sox fans and all the other baseball fans that made fun of this pick why this could end up being a really good pick. All right, so let's get started. Who in the world is Nick York? Out of Archbishop Mitty High School in San Jose, California, Nick York is a second baseman that stands at six feet tall and weighs 200 pounds. On MLB.com, he was ranked number 139, and on Baseball America, he was ranked 96. He was originally a shortstop, but after shoulder surgery that required having anchors put in his shoulder, his arm strength diminished, so he profiles to be more of a second baseman long term. When asked about what player he compares to the most, Red Sox amateur scouting director Paul Tabani compares him to Kevin Euclid. Let's go over each of his tools. First, his best tool is easily his hitting. He's already an advanced hitter that makes solid and consistent contact. In high school, over three seasons and a shortened season this past spring, he hit 457. But in his junior year in 99 at bats, he hit 505. He also has an advanced and mature approach for his age at the plate thanks to his pitch recognition and plate discipline that helped him total a 552 on base percentage and a 1.262 OPS overall in his high school career. In his junior year, he had a 587 on base percentage and a 1.456 OPS. Second is his power. As of right now, he's projected to be a slightly below average power hitter. In 94 games in his high school career, he hit 11 homers with seven of those coming in his junior year and he drove in 77 RBIs total. He still has some more room to add some mass so he could absolutely add some more power down the road. The base running is fine according to scouts as his speed is average. In the field though, he plays hard, he has good hands and he has good instincts. But like I said earlier, he'll most likely be a second baseman long term because of his diminished arm strength, but if he shows improvement, there is a chance he could stick it short. But what sticks out to me with Nick York are his intangibles. First off, scouts on the Red Sox who've been scouting him for most of his high school career rave about his makeup. He's a blue collar player. He's not afraid to get dirty. He's just a baseball rat who would always ride his bike to the fields with his brothers just to throw some batting practice for hours. He's also reportedly willing to sign an underslot deal to give the Red Sox more money to use on the other picks later on in the draft. He's always ready to play. He's always ready to hit, no matter if the guy is throwing a lot of off-speed stuff or he's throwing just straight gas. Scouts on the Red Sox also rave about how mature he is, saying he's one of their favorite kids in the whole draft. And I'll say it again, I was surprised about this pick at first. I thought the Red Sox passed on some really good guys like Nick Bitsko, Peter Crow Armstrong, Garrett Mitchell, and I gave this pick a C plus at first. But after reading about him more and sitting on it a little bit more, I'm gonna give this pick a B. And you know what? This guy, just the way he plays, the way his makeup sounds, the way he just sounds as a person, the way he likes to play the game, he just sounds like a Boston guy. Boston just loves their players that like to get dirty, that like to play the game, that just like to hit, that just love baseball. So in the end, I like this pick. I like this pick for the Red Sox. It's gonna be interesting to see how this pick ends up turning out. But you know what, as of right now, I'm happy about it. Sure, it was a bit of a reach, but you know what, the Red Sox didn't have a pick in the second round. So, you know what? They liked this player enough to pick him in the first round. I trust the Red Sox. I trust their scouting. I trust Hein Bloom. I like this pick. So, tell me down below in the comments what you think about Nick York going to the Red Sox. That's all I got for now. Thanks for joining. Have a good day.